Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Thursday, April the 18th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, we've got some good ones here. Nice. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way, there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments and tips is greatly appreciated. Okay, there's quite a bit of stuff here we could do right here in our camp. Let's go ahead and use this one here. Use photo mode to take a photo. This one here is extremely simple. Even if you're a brand spanking new player, you should be able to do this. So what you do is just go to your map screen. You see the bottom of the screen, you see photo mode. So whatever button it is for you, you select that. It brings you to this screen here. You can move your camera around. Let's take a little photo here. <laughs> Done. Use photo mode to take a photo one for one. Now I do want to keep, uh, make a mention. Look at that. Rank 67. I do want to make a mention that when you do take pictures Jeez. using photo mode, okay, eventually water, your photo compilation will get uh, filled. Excuse me. Holy mackerel. <laughs> voice there, Jim. Wow. So basically what, that, what you'd have to do is you go to your map screen again. Then you bring up your photo gallery. So when your photo gallery gets full, as I mentioned, okay, which it, which for me it almost is, you won't be able to take a picture in photo mode until you free up some space here. And then all you would do is just go to a photo, you go delete, just like that. Now this is on Xbox Series X. I assume it'd be the exact same kind of way for the PlayStation and PC. So. Just an FYI of that, and if it isn't, just make a little comment just so other people uh, know. Share your uh, information, your thoughts. All right, let's see what's next here. Build a floor, wall, or roof in a workshop or camp 5. So we can go ahead, claim any old workshop on the map, or we could just build a floor, wall, or roof right here in our camp. I don't plan on keeping it, but uh, you can keep it if you so wish. All right, let's go ahead and go to our build menu here. Let's go to the floor section right here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and go some walls. Now I like to kind of go with the half walls because the half walls cost usually one less wood <laughs> than the usual. There we go. And all I do is I just build. Now I know some people usually wait for these daily weekly challenges to pop up to add to their camp. Now you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but you don't have to. Okay, and as, I, and as I show a lot of times in my videos, I just usually end up scrapping. As long as uh, if you are in a place that you like or are happy with, just make sure you don't scrap the wrong thing. That's all. <laughs> That's the main thing to worry about yourself there. All right, let's see what's next here. Craft ammo at a workbench 50, so that's perfect. So we will get a couple of these uh, a couple times a month. Sometimes we will have to collect ammo. But this one here, we actually have to craft ammo at a workbench. And of course, we craft ammo at a Tinker's workbench. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, it doesn't really specify what type of ammo, so it can be ballistic, can be energy. Let's go to our Tinker's workbench here. Let's go craft. Oh, it's being used by someone, apparently. There we go. Oh, your punk's way down there. So here in the ammo section will be your ballistics. Okay. And then right down here will be your energy. All right, so we're going to uh, craft some uh, ballistic ammo. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft some 45. So we see 45 times 12. Three gunpowder, four lead, 10 steel. Now watch what happens when I change some perk cards around. So if you are crafting ammo, if you're a newer player, just to give you an FYI, under agility... I'm not too sure what level it comes in at, but it's called Ammo Smith. So Ammo Smith produced 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. So that's pretty awesome. So what that does is you get 80% more rounds at the same amount of requirements as it would be to craft the normal amount of rounds. So let's go ahead and equip that. And let's go under luck. And another thing you can do when you craft stuff, it's always good to put a super duper on. 
Again, I think this is a little bit of a higher level card, but it's very useful to have, once, even if you have a level one. Uh, when you craft anything, there's 30% chance you'll get double results. So then again, there's a 70% chance it, you won't. So FYI on that. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll go to our Tinker's Workbench again. You're just going to see what happens here. Let's go down to ammo. Now we see our 45 rounds here. Instead of 12, we have 21. And if you note the requirements, it's the same amount of requirements. 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, 10 steel. And now we have Super Duper on. So let's go ahead. We're going to craft uh, one of them and uh, see what happens here. Okay, so Super Duper did not kick in. Let's try it again. No luck today. No luck today. Let's do one more time to get the 50. There we go. <laughs> so we're 0 for 3 with Super Duper here. And again, I get comments sometimes saying yeah, Super Duper is not working. But it, again, it's 30% chance. 70% <laughs> no chance. All right. So let's go ahead here. We're going to uh, put our cards back. Before I forget. Well, I got to get back to monitoring the radio chatter. Excuse me. Yeah, take your easy butts. Go. Okay, so what's next here? Repair armor, weapons, or power armor 5. So we talk about this one all the time. Okay, we can go to our armor workbench, our weapons workbench, our power armor station, and we can repair our equipment, but it's going to cost us valuable resources. So I always kind of recommend, I always kind of promote repair kits. Now I use repair kits uh, from time in, time out. You guys will see me when I'm out and about. And I'll just kind of put a repair kit on. Because a lot of times I'll get repair kits for free off of previous scoreboards. And sometimes, you know, we go to the atomic shop, we get our daily free item for everyone. And sometimes there's repair kits in there. And I usually kind of stockpile them a little bit and mostly use the repair kits for this particular uh, challenge that pops up. Okay, uh, so how, and another thing you can you can buy repair kits in the Atomic Shop before we continue on here. Uh, now, I don't know anyone who does this, but uh, it is it is a possibility, and it's actually, they're actually on sale, so it's pretty good. You can buy these repair kits, bundles, I guess. So just an FYI that that is available to you. Uh, so let's say you're out in the field, and uh, your weapon is uh, not 100%. Okay, so you open up your Pip-Boy. You go to your weapons section, right? Uh, now this uh, lever action, I just repaired it just uh, yesterday, of course. Uh, let's go to our armor section and see what needs to be repaired. So as you can see, the little condition bar, it's not 100%, same as this guy. This guy's a little over 100, so he's fine. This guy and then this guy. So we, so we have uh, a couple pieces of armor that we can repair. Let's take this one here, for example. Now, if you see the bottom of the screen, in my case, it's RS for Inspect Repair. So whatever button it is for you, you select that. Then it brings you to this screen. You see the bottom of the screen, it says Repair Kit 20. In my case, it's Y, so you select that. And it brings up this little box here. Now, Basic Repair Kit, it'll bring it, it'll uh, repair it up to 100%. Improve Repair Kit, if you're lucky enough to get these, uh, these will uh, 150%. Okay, so just an FYI there. And, uh, of course, we just got that uh, latest uh, camp ally. Let's take a look at that real quick. Just to kind of FYI there as well. So this guy here, this uh, Dell Lawson. I did a little video on him when he came out there last Thursday. And the little buff he gives you, just in case if you don't have uh, cards that will, um, you know, extend the life 200%, like when you... Uh, repair it at your workbenches this guy will give you a little buffer up to 130 percent and from what i know he doesn't it doesn't stack with anything so just an fyi there he, he does uh, he can be a little useful for those of you who don't have those perk cards all right so let's get back to using these repair kits here let's go ahead we're going to inspect repair repair kit we're going to use a basic repair kit here see that one for five and this is how you would do it if you're out in the field, you're not near any workbenches, or let's say, uh, you know, you don't have enough resources even. Okay, let's say you're a brand new player to the game, and you have, but you have all these repair kits. Same deal, let's go ahead, we're going to repair. Use a basic repair kit, two for five. All right, so that's what you could do out in the field, and it's the exact same thing for when you uh, repair your weapon. 
Okay. Uh, now, in this case, we are repairing some armor, so we got to go to our armor workbench here. Let's go ahead and go modify. Now, one thing good about a natural workbench, you can it gives you the option to use a repair kit or use the workbench. Okay, we're going to go through that as well. Let's go down the list here. There we go. So there's our right leg. Let's go ahead. We're going to go at the bottom of the screen, inspect slash repair. Okay. And now you see the bottom of the screen that shows, gives us the option Y repair kit, X workbench repair. Let's go ahead. We're going to use our repair kit using this workbench just to show you this way, just like that. All right, let's back out. Let's uh, open up this guy again. Let's go ahead, inspect slash repair. We're going to go uh, workbench repair this time. And again, when you use workbench repair, you're going to use valuable resources that you may or may not have. And this is why I'm a huge fan of the repair kits. There we go, four for five. All right, now let's go ahead. We've got to go and get one more item here. I could find my stash box wherever it's at in this mess. Let's go down the list here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that bad boy. Let's go to our weapons workbench and same deal, modify, repair. Let's slide that over. Oh, no, we're going to go, sorry, inspect slash repair, sorry. And then we again, give us the option to use a repair kit or a workbench repair, as you can see there. We're just going to go workbench repair. There we go. Repair armor weapons or power armor five for five. Done. Just like that. Give you guys a couple options there anyway, right? What I try to do. Put that guy back. Okay. What's next here, Jim? Go glowing creature one. So there's many glowing creatures around the wasteland. Sometimes they're kind of hit and miss. Uh, right down here in Welsh, we do have that one glowing mole miner that's down here with the one with the missile launcher. Okay. He's a very, he's a guaranteed spot, that guy. Okay, uh, right over here at the um, Toxic Larry's Meet and Go, there will be the uh, the triplets, the Snallygasters, and usually at least two of them will be glowing. But usually, I've, I find lately I've been going there, all three have been glowing, <laughs> to be honest with you, at least on my playthrough. Uh, right up here at the um, Abbey's Bunker, it's uh, I know it's a little harder kind of area but uh, where you land in it's pretty easy it's a zero requirement uh, terminal to get in downstairs in the bunker itself will be five rad roaches i've seen all five being glowing uh, but you'll find at least two or three that will be glowing there guaranteed and uh, of course everyone knows about mananga it's a nice little town full of mole miners usually about 10 or 12 of them maybe a little bit more but at least half of them will be glowing and that's where we're going to go here today All right, we're here in good old Monaga, and we're here to come after a glowing creature. So, uh, again, Mole Miner is definitely considered glowing. Let's go down here. We should have our glowing guy right there. You see him? There you go. Kill glowing creature one for one. Done. Just like that. All right. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's near me. A little bugger. Oh! Yeah, he's kind of went right in the hole there. So he's hiding on me. All right, let's see what's next here, Jim. Now, these two here we're going to incorporate at the same time. We're gonna kill some feral ghouls. Ten. Now, of course, feral ghouls are found all throughout the wasteland. And we all know that feral ghouls is a great source of silver, okay? Now, we cannot bulk silver at the Tinker's Workbench, where you actually have to find junk items that we can scrap to give us silver. Now, you'll see a couple of videos of mine. I have one great video. It is right up here at the Palace of the Winding Path. It's a very popular video. Hands down, <laughs> best spot for silver in terms of silver bowls you can check out that video if you so wish it's very popular i'm sure it might be one of the first ones you see that pops up but uh we have these silver bowls up here and each silver bowl gives you two silver it's uh, a really good time really good time and of course these uh ghouls ghouls are a great source of uh silver 
and we're going to go after some ghouls here today. Now, there are ghouls up here in Clarksburg in the lower section, okay? Uh, there's going to be ghouls in the west, upper, and lower parking lot of Vault 76. The weakened ghouls, extremely easy, especially for the newer folk, okay? Uh, right down here, Alpine River Cabins, you might you're, be lucky to find five ghouls down here, okay? Uh, Ca Charleston Capitol Building, the DMV building, uh, full of ghouls, full of ghouls. Like, you'll fill your boots with uh, ghouls, gold, and silver in that place, okay? Uh, but where I'm going to take you here today, we're going to go right through Morgantown, because Morgantown is a pretty big city. And in Morgantown, we have these little patches of ghouls, about four or five of them in a group. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to start up here at the Morgantown High School. And it shouldn't take us too long to get through here. All right, again, Morgantown, really good spot for ghouls, as we all know. There's these little patches of like four or five of them that are out in the streets every other block. We're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and kill some feral ghouls, and then we're going to pick up, hopefully they have some uh, silver fork spoons or knives on them, and they're going to use that to scrap. We're going to uh, cross our fingers here. <laughs> cross our fingers. Okay, so here's our first little patch here. I just do see another guy over there. Yep. All right, let's see if these guys got any silver on them. Of course, when you're looking for it, you'll never find it. But we'll see how it goes here. No silver yet, and that's something. Gold. Got some gold. Grab the gold one anyway while we're here. All right, now the uh, the high school itself will be more like scorched and around the outside and the inside. Okay, so we're not going to bother going towards the high school area. Gonna make our way down here. There'll be another patch just on the other side of that truck. Is he gonna explode? Old explodey. There we go. Kill a feral grill 10 for 10. Done. And that's something. <laughs> we came here, I would say about two months ago, looking for gold. And all these guys gave out was silver. And now we can't find silver to save our life. And that's something. That is something. See, they know I'm making videos and they're trolling me. We're going to keep going here with some more ghouls. I just want to kind of show you. I try my best here. Holy mackerel. You're going to be like, okay, Jim. Relax, buddy. Oh, we got... Uh... Yeah, this guy's pretty quick there. See that? <laughs> yeah. Great spot for some uh, alcoholic beverages. That's good. Good to know. It's the, oh. <laughs> oh, cap stash. Look at this, guys. Nice. Grab this stuff here. Go. Oh, I do. All right. So, normally, <laughs> normally. These guys will give you your silver. And you guys have seen it in videos as I talk about it all the time. Every time I see it, I mention it. <laughs> we just killed quite a few ghouls and uh, we get no silver at all from these cats. That's fine. That's fine. That's the way you want to play? That's fine. Let's go ahead and scrap drug to produce silver three. <laughs> Let's go up to the Palace of the Winding Path. Let's go to our guaranteed spot here. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I love this game. Love it. So once we get to the Palace of the Winding Path here, we're only going to need two bowls anyway. And I suggest you only take what you need because chances are we're going to have this one up again this week. We're going to go right to the main building here, guys. And then we're going to pop up here. There's going to be some scorched inside.
to get rid of these guys here, just so they're out of the way. Should have a mall rat popping in here very shortly. You can hear him. Huh. Maybe not. Alright, so right here, right at this entrance, when you first come in, there'll be a uh, silver bowl here. Where did it go? Must be talking about that uh, mole rat. Yeah, usually there's a silver bowl here, but uh, I'm thinking that the explosion kind of flung it somewhere. That's probably what happened. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's right down here. See it? It flung it off down here. Oh, so there's a silver bowl here. Silver bowl here. So all we need is two. Okay, all we need is two. Now you can check out that video if you so wish. Okay. Um, about this place. And there's all kinds of those silver bowls. You just... Another silver bowl right here, see? And uh, all you do is you just make your way up those set of stairs. Go right to the top to the real big giant room. And there'll be four more silver bowls. There'll be a couple silver bowls on your way up. Real good spot for silver. Let's go ahead. We're going to go to our junk. As you see, silver bowl gives us two silver. Okay. We get two of them. It's going to give us four. And we need three. Go ahead. We're going to go right to our camp here. Or we can go to any uh, workbench, whichever one we so wish. We're going to just go back to our camp. Pretty fast travel. Why not? Yeah, this uh, Palace of the Winding Path, you get so much stuff here. It, uh, you don't see it in videos uh, very often with all the great stuff you can get here. I think it's just because how it's so big. It's massive. <laughs> Alright, we got our silver bowls. We're going to go to our workbench here. Uh, yep. You could have gone to its train station. There's a bunch of workbenches there too. Let's go ahead. We're going to go scrap. We're going to scrap these uh, silver bowls here. Done. Just the scrap to introduce silver three for three. Done. We have to do that because we cannot bulk silver at the Tinker's Workbench. Okay, let's uh, take a look and I think we're done. We are just like that. Easy peasy, guys. Seriously. You guys can get them done a lot faster than me just because I do a lot of explaining because they're, you know, these are tutorial type videos. But uh, again, that's why I timestamp everything. So let's make it a little bit more convenient for folks. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Google Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe Starwin138, Robco. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.